Above all, the media go for the drivers. They all too easily overlook the fact that Formula One's more a team sport than any other. The drivers are backed up by a whole army of highly qualified mechanics and engineers. And it's mainly them who are responsible for the drivers' best lap times. Regardless of whether for tyres or for transmitting vehicle data, there are specialists for every task. And only when everything's running as smoothly as a Swiss watch is success possible. And then there's a sophisticated logistics system, also indispensable in Formula One. All the highly sensitive equipment is packed time and again for testing and races. For Grand Prix meetings, there are two trucks that transport nearly 20 tons of parts and equipment. But even so, all this effort's wasted if the drivers can't turn it into success on the track. And they're under close scrutiny to see if they do. As dusk falls, the C-17 completes the final laps of the day. With unfailing precision, the technicians record the behavior of car and driver. Ever more sophisticated systems process mountains of data. The position of the accelerator, acceleration values, temperatures, they're all recorded and interpreted for the engineers. Here, for instance, on the circuit, we can show what the parameter is doing uh, during a lap. But we have other possibilities, like showing the evolution of the value of one parameter uh, with time, or more parameters on the same, uh, same, uh, same view to see a bit how everybody, uh, every parameter goes together. And a third possibility is, for instance, looking at comparing the same parameter during two different labs, foreseeing what is the effect of a modification, for instance. Nothing's left to chance. Fortunately, though, there are still enough imponderables that can't be registered with computers. Grand Prix aren't one on the test track. No one can predict exactly what'll happen in the race. The drivers, the weather, technical faults. There are plenty of other factors to keep us on the edge of our seats. And looking at it this way, it seems logical that Zalba started the season with a symphony of luck. Because every success needs a bit of luck, however hard you work for it. <laughs> 